Mikey right now in the lineup with Ace Buckin. Mikey was deadly last year as a wild card, taking out number one in the world at the time, Julian Wilson. In his round three heat, as we see a wave missed, Potts. That one's going down the line. No, it's just killing you. Mind surfing these waves can <laughs> make you go crazy sometimes. Uh, it's absolutely killing me. Uh, there's been, uh, you know, I think positioning here has been really an issue. Mikey right up and riding. Mikey looks like he's going to pull into that first section and get taken straight down. Ace with priority out the back. Straight off the get-go, and Mikey right. First barrel of the day. Look at that beautiful traveler there from Mikey into that nice rail grab cut back which i love it seems really easy to do joe but it's kind of a difficult maneuver when you think about it to get that drive once you grab the rail it's really hard to drive off those fins but mikey right positioning perfect and then drives into that beautiful wrapping cut back. he's talking about heavy water waves too like pipeline where it spits around you, you can't see and it would just fly you out into the channel ace bucking chooses a beautiful wave for his start. Under the lip hook, he'll survive that one. Big vertical jam as well. Difficult wave to ride on your backhand, Joe. It was almost a tube ride, wasn't it? See how hollow that wave was. So Ace deciding to go up into the lip multiple times. So great vertical surfing there from Ace Bucken. And it's gonna be compared to Mikey's wave under the lip on that occasion. And then right up through the lip again on, on maneuver number two. So back to back. Vertical turns for Ace Bucken. It was almost hollow enough to get inside the barrel, but Ace Bucken, you can see this first turn, pivots the body, and it's literally underneath the lip, free falling down. So right there, talk about feel, completely blinded by the white water. Now he finds himself back on the open face, straight up again. So back to back, vertical snaps from Ace Bucken. No one does it better than him. That he just had to hang on to. Mikey out the back holds his position. And now we're going to see a comparison to Mikey's barrel, which was the five to two big backside hooks. Making things better for the surfers on tour. Mikey Wright straight into the pit on the takeoff with room to move. Oh. Wave spits and somehow Mikey gets taken out on the exit. Only person happy about that is Ace going, thank goodness. That would have been a solid score for Mikey. The same season as uh, Felipe Toledo, Seabass, Nat Young. And he's been one of the best coaches in the world in a short period of time. Ace up again. Late hit, he goes down on a soft section. The two turns he had on his 693 were vertical, powerful, and he went straight up and got rewarded for it. A massive upset in the heat before losing the reigning world champ, Gabriel Medina, who's currently number five in the world. Back to this one, Mikey Wright swinging deep on this section. Still driving over the foam ball. Mikey Wright trying to pull off the impossible. He had a jump start to get some speed pots, but that thing took him down. Yeah, a little bit too deep on that occasion. You can see a little bit of frustration there from Mikey. Feels like it. Right? It's so difficult to get those scores up into the excellent range. And then Kaloe went on to say how he likes how the judges are saving that little bit of room just in case something incredible happens. Mikey down the line, going for the front side air off the top and has an awkward fall. And he's down to a minute 20 in a situation where he only needed a 2.64 to take the lead. Ace taking priority on this wave, so Mikey's got to wait for something out the back. Ace has some room to improve on his score line as he just carves into the pocket. Every little move towards the beach is helping his cause to back up that roll in first. Mikey paddles for the first wave. Ace will be improving on a .7. It's a smaller wave, so it won't improve too much. Mikey's got five seconds. He'll get this wave in time, but there's so much foam on the face, there's no scoring potential. Mikey falling in the tube a couple of times, ends up costing him the heat, and then being out of position. Bucket will get the win with a 6-9-3 to move on to the round of 16. I'm kind of baffled, Joe. That's, uh, that was a crazy heat right there. One wave each uh, that uh, literally scored. Ace Buck and a 1.80 on his last ride, which made a 3.74 required by Mikey.